board, otherwise it would have all hung out. Awesome. Yeah. <coughs> when I was doing Hamlet, my Polonius was quite good. You know, Polonius is absent-minded, can't remember and gets... I'm not sure about that one. Well, he's <coughs> Ophelia's father and Polonius's father. And uh, he... Uh, <laughs> but he's a bit scatterbrained and addled. Well, this guy was perfect, but he was in real life scatterbrained and addled. And he was once... He, he missed an entrance once, you know, early in the run. And he got his butt chewed out. I mean, he was late, and it was, it was for me, you know, it was an entrance for the big scene they have. I, like, you could, like a crab called, crawl backwards. So he was pretty nervous about that. So like a week later, and uh, I was not, I had my own dressing room, because I was Hamlet. And, but most of the people were in this other dressing room. And so I'm sitting. And they were close, so I, but I, so I could hear, you know, you have this, the box, the speaker, so you can hear. And you can hear the audience out there with the intermission. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, uh, I hear this commotion. And Polonius is sitting at the makeup table, kind of working on his makeup like this, with all the other actors. And I'm just right around the All of a sudden, he leaps up and jumps. Everybody looks at him. And he goes running out of the makeup room. And he goes running down the hallway. And he comes in running out onto the stage. My lord! I get, uh, and the audience is, you know, they're like, very, some of them are sitting there. Some of them are almost out there. It's intermission. And they all turn around and look at him. And he goes, I did this! And he runs back off. He thought he heard his, in his brain, he heard his cue. You know, he was, he was, he was like Plon, it was perfect for, and he ran out in the middle of the stage and made his entrance to an empty theater, to oh. a, to a, while that was, and people turned. Put it on you. Yeah, thank you. 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 And then they have a smaller stage where they were doing the more interesting work. The quirky stuff, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I had the, I did this play called Summer Tree that Michael Douglas did in the movie. They did a movie of it about. But uh, anyway, we just I was just for Sheenan's. Uh, for Sheenan, yes. Yeah. Oh, lieutenant. It's a fantastic I, part. Huh? It's a great part. No, I wasn't for Sheenan. Oh, I was his. I was just the guy that carried his coat and followed him around. Oh, bless I'll you. never forget, it's the first rehearsal and the whole company's there. Some of these actors are very well in known in America as repertory actors, you know. And the guy playing Vershinen, later, uh, 20 years later, I hired to play my Claudius. He was fabulous because he's a handsome guy and he was very well known stage actor in New York. He later, later went and did a, a, a daytime soap and made a lot of money. But uh, uh, Doug, Douglas Watson. And Douglas Watson was probably 42 years old then. He was perfect. He was fabulous as Rashina. Just fabulous. He had all that sex appeal and he's a brilliant. But so I was his, but anyway, I remember first rehearsal, the director says, okay, uh, Dougie, are you there? When the curtain comes up and we're all out in the garden, you know, around the, the house and it's check off. And he says, all right. And I'm standing, he says, Dirk, you're standing behind. He says, because I was one of the peasant servants, you know. He says, now, and I'm just going, I'm just there.